Hello everybody, I am Terrence and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. But before we begin, if you have not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and make sure to click the bell icon too so that you can see when I put out content, which, you know, I've been putting out content consistently so... Anywho, like I said, we are back with another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. We are back with Mediocre Waifu. I did notice in the last video, however, like if you listen real close, you probably don't have to listen real close. But um, I didn't have my headphones plugged in, so you can hear like audio coming straight from my monitor because... I'm a professional. Anywho, we are back with Mediocre Waifu, so we are going to continue on with our quests and stuff. Um, we are going to do our first actual Arcanist job quest. Um, that's the first thing. Excuse me. We're going to do our first Arcanist job quest today, as well as continue some story stuff. So what I'm going to do first is get my story quest right here from Stale Worm. Um... So Stillworn is up in arms as his hired hands are nowhere to be found. The sea sloth, Servin, and his lot never around when there's work to be done. I'd sooner hire you for the sake of getting things done, but then the rapscallions would never learn. Excuse me? I literally just did a thing for you. Like, I'm not sure... We're running errands because we're just like an errand, errand girl today. Love that. Round them up and let them know that Stalwern, Stalwern, whatever. How do you pronounce his name? Anyway, would like a word and don't take no up for an answer. All right, so our quest is to speak with the slacking yeoman. Um, before we do that, we are going to teleport back. Is this one of the slackers right here? Anyway, there are five of them we need to talk to, but we're going to actually teleport back to Limsa Lomensa so that we can get our first Arcanist quest. Wow. So, um, notice how we teleported right here. We're standing next to someone who is dressed like this, and we look like we're getting sorted by the sorting hat. Anywho, we are going to go to the Arcanist Guild, so we're just gonna teleport there, because I don't feel like running. Arcanist Guild. Mm. Oh, that's right, I'm running this. All right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna run inside. Um, And we're gonna talk to, what I call her? Thubby is what we call her. So we're gonna talk to Thubby. Acting Guildmaster Thubby wishes to assess the improvement of your Arcanima skills. Ah, mediocre, isn't it? <laughs> Are you eating well? An empty stomach distracts the mind and leads to hurried judgment. I must oft remind my Arcanists to take meals, so ensconced do they become in their studies. Speaking of such, have you been practicing your tactics with Carbuncle? Yes, I freaking hate that Carbuncle. I believe it is time to assess the improvement of your skills. As with your previous trial, I would have you defeat foes in Lower Lonasia. Three wild dodos and three tiny mandragoras, to be precise. Watch carefully the behavior of your opponents, formulate an effective strategy, and utilize your arcane ent yeah, entity to its fullest potential. I expect you back in time for breakfast. She talking about food? I'm actually really hungry, guys. Um, so we need to kill some dodos and slay tiny mandragoras. So we're gonna go to Lower Lanasia, which I think might be where we need to be anyway. Um, for our story quest. So there's that. So what I'm thinking is we could just teleport back to Summerford Farms and do both quests at the same time, which is generally how these like quest lines pan out. You can kind of do um, multiple quests at a time in one area. So hopefully we can do that. All right, so we're here. Oh, and this is exactly where we're supposed to be. 
to kill the dodos and stuff. Oh wait, no, this is, I don't know what this red circle is for, um, but I do know that we can run back over here and talk to Gherkant, who is one of the slacking yelling. Is this just another main story quest? Okay. Blast. How's a botanist supposed to accomplish field work without a field to work in? Washed up pirates are well and good when you want a field pillaged and plundered, but not when you need it plowed. A lone horticulturist such as myself hardly strikes fear in the hearts of monsters, but your gait is such that I believe you might. I'd be much obliged if you could rid the fields of some mandragoras. With five fewer of the sprouting critters roaming about, I'm sure I could return to my work. Oh, okay, well that's convenient because I have to kill some of those anyway. All right. Mm. Where are we at? Where are the slacking people? I guess it literally says they're right here. I don't freaking know. I don't know where. Oh, wait, no, those are the Mandragoras. Okay, well, we're gonna summon this stupid carbuncle that literally did almost nothing. So we're gonna summon you because maybe he'll distract them. All right, mm -hmm. my asthma. And then bio. Oh my God, he hit two of them. Uh, I just need to. Okay. Oh my God! He hit the B cloud too. Oh, this damp. Heal right now. Oh my God! What did I just do? Yeah, this carbo needs to go away. I was better off by myself. It's freaking attached to the carbon keeps using hits multiple people, so then they all just really start looking at me. That's fine. Oh, and you're dead. That was quick. I don't want to hit the B cloud. Oh my god. Whoa. God, I interrupted. I think my ruin spell got stronger though. I mean, I did level up, but like, I don't think I got a new booger. Okay, let me heal myself. I'm gonna act a fool. Okay, I really need to find these slacking. Oh, I found, is this one of the slacking people? Yeah. Hey, you. Grown. How am I supposed to work on an empty stomach? Go on, have a guess at what I had for breakfast. Um, breadsticks? What? Gods, how'd you know? It's my breath, ain't it? It probably smells as wooden as the food tasted. <laughs> but I know why you're here, Sigh. I just as soon get some real food in me, but I ain't one to reject summons from the cabin. Okay, well, sir, I didn't ask you to have this whole conversation with me. Okay. So the red circles are actually the slacking people. Oh God, okay. I, guess I, gotta... I need to get up there, what the heck? Just let me jump on top of these freaking rocks. Just let me jump on the rocks. No, you're around here? Like I'm literally in the, sur oh wow. Okay, well now I'm, oh God. Now I'm stuck in this river. Am I stuck? Oh my god. Dear god. Oh, well, there's another one. So, Starman sent you. And what do you reckon I say to that? Work is for, work is for the weakness and the witless. I have saucier seeds to sow. <laughs> I like that one. Damn right. Didn't get where I am by taking grub from any glorified gardeners. But I suppose I could see what he wants to get him off my back. So why did you feel like you needed to be sassy to him? Tell him off, girl. That's what you go do. And you're hiding in this freaking corner by the river, you freaking weirdo. All right, let's talk to you. Too far away, okay. 
It's still too far below. You can't talk to somebody from inches above them? Okay, cool. Axes were made for splitting skulls, not stumps. You know what I did in my sailing days? Skirmishing? Wanton slaughterer? Skirmishing, maybe? You bet your bosom I did last. Aye, those were the days. Sigh. I reckon now I'll have to be satisfied taking my axe to the trees. Why are you guys telling me these stories that I don't care about for you to just walk off? Ugh. Oh, so I can run up those rocks, but I can't run up the important rocks that actually matter. Cool. Love that. All right. Let's talk to you. Ooh, that's... Wait, that's the guy that walked out of the building and was staring at us. Mm-hmm. I remember you. I, I'm serving. You the old man's errand girl now? That burn was unnecessary and uncalled for. Tell my dear old captain not to wet his britches. I'll be along. Oh, and just so we're clear, I don't care for landlubbers. Go find the chocobo you rode in on and ride on out. The freaking disrespect. The last one is over by those freaking rocks that I can't get around. You know what I'm gonna do? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna jump off the side. Oh, wow. I don't have to jump over. Wait. Oh, you're literally right here. Okay. Work, ha, can't work when me hands are full lifting this mug. You know I'd wager my last gill you'd never guess what I'm drinking. Swill water or swill wine? Well, you're right about the swill part. I reckon it might be worth a day of doing Starwin's chores if it'll afford me a taste of proper grog. Okay. I don't understand why these people are telling me these long stories. Where am I? <sighs> so to get to my actual freaking Arcanist quest, I have to run like 20 miles the opposite way of where I've been going. It's like way down there. Is it way down there? I'm so slow. Okay. Okay, guys. So I'm here in the middle of fighting these wild dodos. Um, I had such a long way. Um, if you see, I leveled up actually while I was on my way because I found some cave bats. They were on my hunting log, so I just killed them. Um, my carbuncle is still making lots of enemies aggro, so we love that. Um, because the skill it keeps using definitely is an AOE skill, so that's lovely. Um, so I just need to kill... Oh, one more dodo, and we will be done with the Arcanist quest. Cast Ruin and Miasma first, and then Bio, because Ruin... Oh, move! We got Dodo Tenderloin, okay. Um, like I said, I'm not really seeing too much damage over time. It's more so kind of like nothing. So, love that. Um, I'm going to take myself back to... Um, they'll be first to finish my Arcanist quest, and then we're gonna go back to Stalwarn for the main story quest. So we're going to, first off, we're going to, um, go away. Thank you. And then we're gonna teleport. I can't teleport because I don't have enough money. Ugh. We're even... I've run all the way back. Oh my God. I have to run all the way back because I don't have any money. <laughs> I'm so poor. I just wanted to teleport. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's great. Um, I will catch you guys back up once I finish running back to the city again because I'm poor. Okay, so we are here at the Arcanist Guild. It took literally forever to get here because I, I had super long way to run because I'm friggin' poor and can't afford to teleport. So we're here with Thubby. We're going to talk to her. Welcome back, Mediocre. It appears your coordination with the carbuncle is progressing at a satisfactory pace. Shall we test your growing acumen? Acumen? With a more practical examination? Our work at Milvon's Gate requires us to inspect and record the contents of incoming cargo. To simulate such a task, we have several crates transported to the cliff south of Zephyr Gate. I want you to examine those crates, then return the inspected cargo here to me. 
You would be surprised at the depths to which some merchants will sink to deter our customs agents from performing thorough investigations. False bottoms, rotting foodstuffs, flesh-eating Vulcan, Vulcan, Vulcan. I suggest you be prepared for any eventuality. Okay, so now I need to go back out of Zephyr Gate to inspect some crates because of whatever reason. Um, Zephyr Gate is this way. It's that same gate that we keep running in and out of. Love running the wrong way for stuff. All right, so we're gonna go out of this gate and I will catch you guys up when we get to where we're supposed to be going. All right, so we're here outside of Zephyr Gate. Um, our mission is literally like right here. Okay, well, that's damage. All right, so we need to inspect these crates. Um, whenever you see like purple stuff, that means that we're gonna fight people. So let me go ahead and summon this stupid carbuncle. There it is. So we're gonna inspect these crates. A hostile tree slugs. Oh my God. Oh dear God. It aggroed everybody. Huh. Please. 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 Oh my god, it was such a bad idea. Oh! I need, oh, I need healing. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, they're all attacking me. Oh! Um. Okay, oh, oh dear. Okay, I can't. Ah! No! Oh dear God! What the? <laughs> I have to do that all over again because the freaking carbuncle aggroed everybody or every little monster thing that was over there. I'm not summoning that thing anymore. It's awful. It's completely awful. I'm done, I'm over it. I'm over that stupid thing. I'm not summoning that thing anymore. We're gonna interact with these crates and I don't care. I don't care about the freaking carbuncle. It literally has caused me nothing but grief. Oh my God, and I'm still just dying. Please heal yourself. Ooh, if I'm up here, can they hit me? Yes. The answer is yes, they can still hit me. Please heal yourself, bro. This is actually 20 times easier without that stupid little rat attacking everything. Okay, so we did that a lot better and a lot more efficiently. Stupid rats. Um, we're going to inspect the practice crates again. Cutscene. Girl, what did you put in your pocket? And who are you? Is it trying to hide in the grass? I am not a threat. Pray ignore my presence for the present and allow me a moment to cogitate. The reaction to my sudden appearance was within expected parameters, but I must admit I did not expect so proficient a performance against the enemies set against you. Who are you? Yet effective though your tactics were, I spied much room for improvement as I watched the battle. The wheels of my mind whirled into motion, as they are wont to do, inventing other possible strategies you might have employed. Let's see, taking into account your current level of ability, factoring the etheric constant, multiplying by the number of opponents, then applying your tactics to other potential combat scenarios. Oh dear, 
My calculations indicate failure upon encountering threat level 9,785. Well, we'll have to see what we can do about that. Though the opportune window to do so has passed, I would nevertheless introduce myself. I am Kalia. It looks like Kalia. Uh, Mel Vons, uh, Mel Vons Gate Assessor. Acting Guildmaster Thubby elected me to oversee your training and provide any necessary guidance and instruction in the field of Arcanima. She's very cute. Although that hand was real annoying. Like, no. She said, no, don't talk to me. From what I have observed thus far, you have an admirable grasp of the fundamentals. I do, however, wish to confirm one small detail regarding your choice of arcane geometries. What factor most influences your actions during battle? Desire to outwit an enemy, potential for amusement. I simply do what feels right. Aha, just as I predicted. And now I have the final element needed to perform another calculation. Hmm. The probability of you becoming an arcanist of note is 90%, give or take a half a percent. Yes, the certainty is quite high. After all, I only know of one other practitioner who responded to my question in the same manner. It was the man who bestowed upon me this grimoire, the guildmaster himself. While our inscrutable leader is, as I'm sure you've heard, on an indefinite leave of absence, he did leave us with the most notorious saying to date. Strategy is a tool to be used to manipulate one's situation into, de into the desired reality. No matter how gifted you and I might be, however, the instantaneous manipulation of reality that might cause us to suddenly become mighty arcanists is beyond our present abilities. Discipline and experience is the finest strategy in this case. I suggest you continue to focus on refining your aptitude with Carbuncle. I'm not using that thing anymore. Mastery with the arcane entity will greatly improve your success as a wielder of Arcanima. Here ends your lesson for today. Pray return directly to the guild. I believe Mistress Thubby is awaiting some inspected cargo. And what of myself? I'm off to the fields, of course. The tactics I reasoned out earlier must be attempted in real life scenarios. Theory is all well and good, but there's no substitute for actual combat. We will meet again soon. She literally like ran off. Oh, he's an Arcanist too. And he's literally inspecting the thing. Anyway, um, so we are going to actually run to, um, okay. Stalwarn, Stalwarn, whatever the freak his name is. I think he's, yeah, it's right up here. So we're gonna run to him first. So we can turn in this main story quest and then we're going to teleport to Thubby. And I think that'll bring us to the end of the episode. All right, so we are here with Stalwarn and Gurkant. I forgot about him actually. So we're gonna talk to Gurkant first. Um, how about that? You've already done more than the whole lot of slothful sea, sea slugs combined. If only they spent half as much time proving their worth as you do, as they do talking about it. Nice. So we got an achievement, which is Storyteller 1, and we completed that quest. And then we're going to go talk to Stalwarn, Stalwarn, whatever. You continue to impress Lass, as Severin, all but Severin, are accounted for. It's no fault of yours, he squirmed out. I've let that worm wriggle through my fingers more times than I can count. But rest assured, the next time I see him, I'll put him squarely in the dirt, where all such worms belong. Okay, well, thank you for that. All right, so we got a little bit of money for that. So we're going to teleport to Limsa Lominsa so that we can hurry and go talk to the Arcanist Guild lady. 
I'm so embarrassed to be standing here. Ah, mediocre. You have returned with the cargo. Oh, okay. Hand over the practice crate. There you go, girl. Yes, everything seems to be in order, relatively clear of blood and other gore. That could be something of a problem in our profession, you understand. I also had word with Kalia regarding your performance. She seemed eager to continue your training. An odd lass, I'll admit, but the guild can boast no finer mind for, taxi for tactics. You would do well to heed the instruction she offers, particularly that which touches on the diligent approach to our art. Did you perhaps notice the battered tone Kalia carries that Initiate's grimoire has served her from the day she entered the guild? She has her reasons, but it's admittedly strange to see she kept it all the way to her present position as foreseer. I fear such an intense focus on Arcanima has led her to overlook the other important aspects of life. As our master strategist guides your Arcanist training, I hope that you might return the favor and help to broaden her own perspective somewhat. But enough of such matters for the moment. You have done well this day, mediocre. Continue your practice with Carbuncle, I will not, as Kalia has bid. I will be here when the time comes for your next lesson. Oh, we get to pick new clothes. Um, custom made robe of casting, hemp and hat, this bone ring. So nothing actually improves our stuff except for this custom made robe of casting. So we're gonna get that and we're gonna complete. And we got a new grimoire. Let me put that on real quick. Oh wow, that's real, that's real ugly. All right guys, so that brings us to the end of this episode. I hope that you guys are enjoying the series. I'm going to be linking the playlist in the description below so that you guys can check out any other episodes. Um, I feel like we've done a lot in this episode. So yeah, if you like the video, make sure to also leave it a big thumbs up. That would be great for myself and the channel and everything else. And um, yeah, with that being said, you guys stay hydrated and I will catch you in the next one.